Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different and I just wanted to share this with you guys because I wanted to inspire people who maybe aren't like people who are like me who don't consider themselves very artistically inclined but I just wanted to inspire you to just to just try and you know it's about the process and it's about you know are you having fun and that's what matters it really doesn't matter what it looks like just create art just for the sake of it and so what we have here um, hopefully you can tell at least what it's supposed to be so <laughs> this is the demolition lovers 2 art by Gerard Way that was the cover of three cheers for sweet revenge and I decided one night, I'm not really sure why, but I, you know, it's something I've always wanted to attempt to draw. And I just sat down in my art journal, my art journal olive, and I just went for it. So I started with pencil. And I actually um, have this in a reel on my Instagram. You should go check that out at Planning with Cass. Um, so I just kind of showed like how I sketched it out with pencil and then outlined it in the pen and, and all that. So I wanted to show you my, my process here. That's why I kept this stuff in even though I didn't end up doing any of it. So I had some stuff already printed. If you didn't see, I'm going to put it um, in a card and also in the description. If you didn't see, I did some art journaling in the MCR B6 Traveler's Notebook that I have. And I had printed this stuff and then I put it in a little pouch and put it away to use later. And I pulled that out and that's where I found these stickers and photos and I'm sitting here trying to figure out how I want to like color this in without just coloring it in. I wanted to do some kind of like mixed media type thing. And so I just started pulling this stuff out and I was like, oh, let me, let me just put this sticker down. And... I ended up finding that vellum that I had printed that I used in that art journaling spread in the um, MCRB6TN and it already had blood spatter on it and when I laid that over their faces I was like oh my god this is perfect it was like a light bulb went off because I was really struggling with how to do that and I knew that like obviously this isn't I'm not trying to make it look exactly like you know the actual art um, the blood spatter is a little more uh, concentrated here there's a lot of it but I thought it was just really cool to use vellum and so what I'm doing here is I place the vellum over top of the design that I sketched out and I just started you know trying to and here I'm trying to like use my exacto knife and then I realized like why don't you just use scissors and just like why don't you just trace on top of the vellum so that's what I'm doing here is just, you know, tracing and making sure it doesn't bleed through. And then I just ended up cutting it out and gluing it down with a glue stick. And I really just, I love the process. It was so much fun. Um, and I'm really trying to let go of like the fear factor. Like I'm always like, oh, I don't even, I don't want to do this. It's going to end up being ugly and I'm going to hate it. But here's the thing. Even if I, and that's what I told myself when I went into this, even if I absolutely despise this, I think it's the ugliest thing I've ever done in my life, I can just cover it up. Like, I could just take a big sheet of paper and, and glue it down and start over. Like, it's fine. It's it's just, Or I can just turn the page and keep going and consider it part of my process. Like, it's, it's fine. You know, don't stress about it. And so I really, I had fun tracing over this vellum I thought it was, I don't know, just kind of a, a neat idea. Now, I was struggling, you see, with her eyes, her eyebrow, her mouth. I tried to, I did this on her, and then when I went to do um, the male, I just did, I did it a little bit differently. But I wanted to, like, cut it out so that you could see the original drawing underneath, if that makes sense. But with him, I just decided to just trace on top of the vellum and do it like that. But yeah, I just used my scissors and cut it out. And uh, it's pretty satisfying once I cut it out and then lay it over top. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I just, I had a lot of fun with this. So 
I just wanted to share my uh, process with you guys and again I am I am not an artist but I, I sat down and I just referenced the original art and just started kind of sketching it out and this is what I came up with this is this is me honestly trying my absolute hardest like th this is the best that I can do so yeah check that out look how it lines up awesome right so yeah, that's what I did for the faces. I used the vellum. Again, I just printed a blood spatter pattern that I actually got, um, I had on Canva. And I just printed that out on vellum. And, uh, yeah, it ended up working out. And this is why I always advocate for saving your scraps. Because I didn't print that for this project. I printed it for the other art journaling spread I did in the actual, um, MCR Traveler's Notebook. And I just saved the, the scraps and then it ended up working out. So I just used what I already had to, you know, do this. So, um, definitely save your scraps. Uh, pro tip, you can see up in the upper left hand corner the, um, the little pouch. It's the babe box from the honeybee shop. I save those and, I mean, if you don't save those, you're crazy. Uh, but it's like a, a really nice, like, snap pouch. And I put, you know, I have one that's for, like, art journaling scraps and I just keep that in there so and um you may be wondering why I did this in my Archer and Olive art journal and not in the MCR B60N seems kind of silly but I really you know in the revenge insert in that in the MCR B60N um it's black paper and I really didn't want to you know do it in like white ink I didn't have a red that would show up I I just, I was really overwhelmed with the black paper with that, and so I decided to just, and I also just wanted to use my Archer and Olive, to be perfectly honest, um, and I needed, you know, a little bit more space, so I decided that when I uh, was done with this, I was just going to scan it, and then I could print it and put it, you know, print like a, a smaller copy and put that in the MCR b 16 as well, so it'll be multi-purpose. Um, so I am going to put it in there, I just wanted to use the... Oh, the beautiful Archer and Olive paper it is, it's addictive. It is just, I have only done three uh, art journaling spreads in my Archer and Olive, but I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm just completely, I'm in love with it. So yeah, again here, I'm, uh, I'm trying to cut out where I, yeah, it just, it was, it was very difficult to cut out. I also don't have a super sharp uh, blade on my X-Acto. And then I'm trying to use my little, uh, my husband calls it my dental tool, but uh, my little cricket weeding tool. It just, uh, it, it, it was a little bit of a struggle. So, uh, yeah, for the next one, when I did the, the mail, um, I just skipped this whole part and uh, just kind of used my pen and, and drew on top of the vellum.
So for the hair, I actually decided to just lay down a piece of clear sticker paper. Again, a scrap that I had from when I had printed some clear stickers and then cut them with my Cricut. I just had these scraps left over. So I saved them and I decided to just trace, the, because you can kind of see through it, I decided to just trace the outline of the hair and then just use a permanent marker to color in the hair. That's kind of the effect I wanted to go for. So. I just grabbed my uh, my black permanent marker and just just went for it. Uh, here I'm cleaning off my mat because I had glue stick on it. So yep, I just started kind of kind of going nuts with it, trying to make it look like hair. And then check this out. I love how it lines up. It's so satisfying, and I love how it looks on the clear sticker paper. Now you're gonna see when I put it down, I get an air bubble. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was frustrated with that and because of, you know, the way that this sticker paper is, even with this beautiful, nice Archer and Olive paper, um, when I peeled up the sticker of the hair, it started to rip the paper and I was like, it's not worth it. And honestly, the air bubble kind of, to me, I was like, well, it kind of adds like a 3D element, like to the hair. So I, I just roll with it. So the air bubble is still there. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. I think it looks kind of cool to be perfectly honest. And then I'm just going in and kind of filling in on her hair. And uh, yeah, I really love the effect. I love how it turned out. I just, yeah, clear sticker paper for the win. So I just did the same thing for his hair and I actually didn't get it on camera um, when I did his jacket but it's don't worry it's I just did the exact same thing that I did for the hair on the jacket um, I thought I was recording and I wasn't my phone had filled up on space so um, yeah so this was my process and I'm gonna go in here at the end and insert that reel that I referenced earlier that I made for Instagram just to kind of show you um, what the final product looked like. I, again, I really just want to inspire you guys to just create. Don't worry about what it's gonna look like. Just, you know, just this whole process of like thinking about what to do, you know, what I thought would be cool, like using what I had. It just, it was very, it was very fun. I just had a lot of fun. I spent, I spent probably two and a half maybe three hours total on this whole thing and I, I just love it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed 
please subscribe. It really helps out this channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. I, again, hope that I inspired you to just create something. Don't worry about what it's going to look like. Don't worry about what people are going to think of it. You don't even have to share it. You don't have to share it with anybody. Just create something that you're, you know, that makes you happy. Something that's fun. And so what if it doesn't come out the way that you may be intended for it to come out? It's, it's an expression of you at that moment. And, you know, it's just, it's very therapeutic. Art is very therapeutic and art can be so many different things. I personally, I think planning is art. I think decorative planning is absolutely art. Um, it's a definitely a form of creative expression. And um, yeah, I just, I am very happy with how this came out. Again, I apologize that I didn't film the last part of me um, doing his jacket and then also putting some like, uh, some finishing touches like some white streaks in the hair with a gel pen and just kind of cleaning up the edges a little bit just you you know finishing touches but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed seeing the process here is the final product thank you for watching